Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. What's going on? Here to guide you on your very adventures. I'm so sorry. I didn't much. realize that was up. That's too much, Bernadette. <laughs> too much. Too much too soon. for me. <laughs> too much too soon. All right. So today I am working on a small Blick Studio wood panel, specifically unprimed, <laughs> five by seven. <laughs> the top here is basswood and the sides are pine. <laughs> Grace is already freaking out. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and I do plan on wrapping around part of the orchids along this, just the sides. I've done this before. I've used these before. And I stopped using them because for whatever reason, they were coming to me split and dented and scratched up. And Dig Blick kept uh, replacing them, but it was getting very frustrated and frustrating and on their website they say that these are new and improved and no longer are splitting and warping so i'm going to test that out i want to use a bigger one for a special project so i need to see how this is going to go i have my reference photos right here and i will tape them next to me which i haven't done yet Oops. Ah, how's everybody doing today? Hi, hi Eve. Hi Grace. Hi Kathy. And I believe I saw Jay. Um, who else? Who else we got? Um, I'm looking. I'm going to zoom it's in. Marie, right? Hi Marie. I did not. Oh. I'll do this. Then you got everybody else. Then I got everybody else. So. Grace. <coughs> three and Eve says all the Bernadette. <laughs> I was testing them earlier. That was an oops. Okay, where's my photo? There it is. Duh. So this is the black and white version of the orchids. I got the orchid photo off of Pixabay and I linked that down in the description. The Jacqueline Stevens says hi. Hi Jacqueline. Let's see here. What else do I want to say? Oh, I hand sanded this. I couldn't sand in the garage because we need to clean it up. <laughs> so I had to do a hand sand with this one. I did 220, 320, and 400. And I also did the sides because I do know I'm burning here. These are normally used for painting, whether it's oil or acrylics. They use it for encaustic and other mediums such as that i found these back in 2011 and decided to give them a try and i really do like them i was just very frustrated with the splitting so i'm really hopeful we won't have that problem all right so let's get started i know that the uh, Dal holding up the orchids is dark. I know the stems are dark and I do plan on um, adding color. I haven't decided if it's going to be color pencil or watercolors yet, but I do know I'm adding color so I need to kind of pay attention to how I burn in order to be able to do both without one taking away from the other. So I think we'll start on the stem here and so it is wrapped around a little bit here and I just did that so that when it's hanging on the wall it is like a canvas because it is a canvas <laughs> and I just wanted it to look nice Odo is here. hi Odo all right so I do know I darken these up a little bit more than they are I'm using the spoon shader on three and we're just gonna jump in it's always hard to touch down that very first time. That works. And if I go lighter, it should be okay. In fact, I think I can actually 
heat up just a little bit. Right now I'm touching the whole bottom of the shader down. And I'm going to bump up to just shy of four. Do I need to zoom in? Um, no. I don't think so. Well, if Bernadette doesn't work for the rest of the life, she at least showed up. <laughs> That's true. She showed up. So I'm just going in little circles. I'm controlling my speed so that I can control my heat without having to constantly adjust. And I know that orchid stems are not smooth. So if there's a little bit of texture in it, that just helps. And I haven't decided if I'm going to have the, I had, my pattern wasn't big enough for the wood. So I had to extend down the stems and the dowel. And I haven't decided if I, you know, I'm, I'll keep thinking about it. I don't know if I want the dowel in front or behind that stem. Test my tip before I touch down again, because I had my tip up. Sheila is here. Hi, Sheila. She's uh, saying that she's sure that you posted it would start an hour later. Everybody else. Ah. They're, they were used to their time, and then they had their time change, mm -hmm. and we did not. Oh, yeah. So everybody sprang forward an hour. And right now we're the same as Pacific Standard Time. So that's, that's why. Grace, I'm eating baklava and drinking coffee. <laughs> he should be out bouncing off the walls soon. I'm going to leave this gap until I figure out how I want it. I have flipped the photo and kind of adjusted it as to what I wanted off and on the front of the board. The light source is coming from the top right, so there's already going to be a shadow on any part of the stem that does get light. It's going to be darker, more on the left side, so I'll just fill that in. And I can take artistic license and decide how much light I want coming through. If I color this with watercolors, if I go directly onto the wood, it's going to act like a stain. But, and I do need to test this because I haven't done that be done this before. If I put, if I seal the wood after the burning, and then put a layer or two of clear watercolor ground over the wood. It should act more like, well, watercolors. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Because I know if I, if I do the um, colored pencils, it'll look more like tinting. I just haven't decided what look I want yet. Jacqueline has a question. Yes. Do you keep a constant pressure or do you have to change it based on the depth of color? I try to keep constant light pressure. Now, sometimes I get heavy handed and push down a little harder, but you really don't want to do it. The heat should be doing all the work for you. Tony Fleming is here. Hi, Tony. As well as pen holder art. Hey, Dan. It's nice when you learn everybody's names. <laughs> I know. Let's see, I lifted. Grace has a question. Mm -hmm. Where do you get your clear water to hold around? I ordered mine either on Amazon or Blick. And I'm sure Jerry's has it too. Core has it, um, or I should say Daniel Smith has, or um, Golden has watercolor ground, and Daniel Smith has it. I have Daniel Smith. 
I'm just blowing on the tip a little bit. I did turn my heat down because I keep lifting. And if I just slow my pen down, I'll get the same heat. And if I speed up, it'll lighten. So I just turned it down to three and a half. And I'm just trying to get enough burn down so I can erase my pencil lines. And this is the Vanish 4 in 1 eraser. I have it linked down below. 4 in 1. So it's like it's like a can opener <laughs> and a letter opener. And a Swiss Army knife. Oops. Already throwing things. All right. So I'm hoping. I, I think I am going to go with the watercolor, but I'm not sure on the colors or anything like that. Hmm. Well, Grace and Eve are talking about that. Grace has only seen the white ground, and Eve wasn't aware that they made a clear one. They do. I have both clear watercolor ground, and I need to look either white or clear uh, pastel ground. Got a lot of texture there. Let's see here. Penholder Art says, saw orchids and had to watch. Cool. I've never done these <coughs> and I've been wanting to. And I thought that this piece of wood and layout would go really well with it. Right. I got some pencil I want to get rid of. Let's see here. I can try on camera to show the difference between burning on basswood and pine. Let me see if I can get a good angle. See if you look, pine has hard and soft grain. And when I touch the soft grain, it's going to burn darker. And when I hit the hard grain, it's going to burn lighter. And so it's a little bit of a challenge. It's doable. I've done it. But I'm trying to see how I can see it and you guys can see it. Let's see here. If I turn it. Well, Bless you. Oh my goodness, excuse me. I'm going to move my camera a little bit so I can have it hopefully at 90 degrees. And then I'll go back. I, I should be able to. This is the 7th, 7th, 8th cradle board. They also have an inch and a half, so if you want a bigger area, I don't have a way to brace my hand, so this is going to be a little harder because I'm trying to do it on camera. I really don't want to burn it in my lap. Lee Art is here and says hello. Hi, Lee. So, and the layers for the basswood that are glued together are exposed, so I don't want to go deep into that layer because then I'll be burning on glue. Mm. Don't want to do that. Let's see. It's really hard balancing the hand. You need help? No, it's just because I'm trying to do it on camera. Okay. And I just wanted to show the difference in the burn if I could. I don't think pine is a good wood in general to burn on, but definitely not good for beginners. You know, it reminds me of, because I've seen some of your finished work that has that difference in the grain. It reminds me of, like, when the sun's coming through the blinds and you get, like, stripes. Yes. That's, that's what it reminds me of. Well, in general, the pine that I used to burn on was ponderosa pine. Just like our trees outside. Yeah, if I was burning, like, a have the camera angle for adding color it'd be a little easier. Let's see here. So the lighter area is going to burn 
darker at the same heat setting as the light. But I like the wrap around. Let me, let me see here. Can I do it this way? I think that that's if you're if you're not gonna frame it, I think having the wrap around is is really unique. And like when we're talking about canvases, watercolor artists don't have to worry about this most of the time because they burn on paper. But when you're working on a canvas, you mean paint on paper? You. you for fine art anyway, you're not supposed to leave the sides of the canvas unpainted. So a lot of artists will do like a, a flat, <clears throat> even um, you around all the sides of the canvas. Or some people like me will continue the painting around the sides. And I think it's just a better presentation. And there's a lot of people that don't paint the sides, and that's fine, but if you're going to display your work in a gallery or in, you know, any kind of exhibition or a competition, it's really important to get those sides. Yeah. If you're doing like dimensional stuff like you are, burning on the sides is going to be really important to make the work completely whole. And speaking of exhibitions, you're exhibiting right now. So are you? you? Well, I know that. <laughs> And you know I am, because <laughs> we did know. it together. We hung it so together. Tell them. tell them. Now focus. I'm trying to balance okay, and make sure. Balance. I'll talk. I get my lines. Um. So, we're exhibiting down in downtown Flagstaff. Um, it's, uh, next to the Hotel Monta Vista. It's a restaurant called the Lotus Lounge, and our work is going to be up for a few months. Um, we'll be there first Friday. Of course, I don't, I don't think anybody lives close enough. No, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think we have any toasties here. Have you posted anything on social media? No, I've been so... We're going to make those cards, too. <sighs> i got to do so much. I can make the cards if you want. Um, trying to balance without burning myself. Yeah, so we went into the restaurant, which is a really nice restaurant, and we're actually gonna we're gonna go have dinner there pretty soon, so mm -hmm. that we can hang out and run our art and see what people think. But um, <clears throat> we filled the place up. <clears throat> there, somebody else does have some art there. There's a little bit of yeah. There's you a, filled the place up. Wow, well, we filled the place up. How many pieces do you have in there? Seven. Eight. Originals. Yes. Well, and prints. Um, seven. Seven. Okay. Let's see. So in between us, so we got about, I don't know, 25 pieces, probably? At least. Yeah. So, anyway, it's really cool. And it's been a while since we exhibited in a restaurant. Any place. It's been longer for me than it has for Val. Now, I will go back and touch this up, but I do want to show you how uneven the burn is versus even just the first layer on the basswood. You can definitely see the difference. So Jacqueline has a question. Mm -hmm. So will you paint the areas of the side that are not burned? Good question. Um, probably. At least some color. Um, depending on what I do. In the past, I've also um, sealed, or I'm sorry, varn uh, sta stained. I will get the, I've stained the edges so that they at least looked finished. So I will end up adding some kind of color to the sides. Even if it's just light. Well, the, the nice thing about wood is because we've got this wood grain, and even though it's a pain in the butt to burn on, it's still pretty to look at. So even if I don't stain the side, when I varnish the whole thing, it will still look pretty, unlike a canvas where it's, you know, white here. When you go to pretty painting here, and then it's just white, that really stands out. At least with the sealing the wood grain, it still goes along with the piece. 
but I will put the watercolor ground if that's what I end up doing. Now if it's colored pencil, no, I probably won't. Um, but with, if it's watercolor, then I will put some ground on the sides as well and kind of do not a full paint, but just like splotches so that it, it's hard to explain. I'm still trying to visualize. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the vision. Sheila Edwards is here. Hi, Sheila. So, they're talking about the manatee, and Grace says, how do you feel now that the manatee is out in the world? It is hanging in the restaurant in the show. Um, I'm happy with it. There's some things that I would do differently, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. But overall, I'm happy with it. I will tell you the metal leaf on watercolor is a pain in the tush. I was trying to figure out which word I wanted to use there. Um, I think pain is a good. It's pain everywhere. It don't matter. Pick a place. It was really a pain to do it because you really need to seal whatever you're going to put the metal leaf on. <laughs> And I did seal the um, watercolor paper, but it doesn't seal even, even after a couple of coats. And so the glue kept soaking into the paper. And I did no less than two layers, but at least three layers of, gold, of metal leaf on all the fishes. All the fishies. I thought it turned out really beautiful. Overall, I'm really I'm happy with it. I kind of stepped away from my vision only because I forgot what I plan to do. But once I got it matted and I could <coughs> see how it was really supposed to look, that finished it off for me. Brandon says that uh, we couldn't believe that manatee was on paper. Thank you. Tasty Critters is here and says, Hi, Every Tasty. time I start burning, you have a, show, a live show. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, burn along. Burn along. And post in the group what you're burning along on. And what you're making. Odo asks, which is harder to burn, paper or wood? I would say paper because it takes more heat and depending on the texture of the paper the layer trying to build the layers like I do on wood is harder <coughs> so yeah I would say paper is harder trying to keep my shadow off Paul is here. Hey, Paul. Missed you last week. All right. Right now, I'm really just trying to get areas in so I can erase. It makes it easier for me. So I'll get this in. And Grace says that the texture worked really well for the manatee. It did. That one with the cold press paper, it was less work mm -hmm. because I could use the paper to help me. And I do think that helped make a difference on that. Mm -hmm. Normally I would burn on hot press paper, but that cold press really did help get the texture of, I don't know exactly, it looks more like moss on the back of the manatee because I saw baby manatees who did not have that texture so moss and ocean stuff I can't think of the word that I want to use alright so I'll be able to erase that oh, need to be careful I push my glasses up with my pen in my hand. Don't do that. I know. That's I know like I don't. something I would do. You uh, alright? Yeah, yeah, I didn't touch myself. Okay. I always push my pen away when I'm moving around. 
I would need, if I burned, I would need to, like, anytime I did anything other than burning, I would need to, like, hold my pen out at arm's length, like, <laughs> stiff-armed. Well, I did get myself yesterday. I'd probably, the catch, first the, time. probably catch the curtains on fire, though. <laughs> I did get myself yesterday. You really can't see it. It's just, oh, don't point with that. Don't point with that. <laughs> and today. <laughs> it is a little white spot right here. I don't know how well you can see it. I got myself yesterday with the ball tip. I reached across myself to turn off the burner. And I kind of grazed my hand across the don't ball do tip. It. Valerie does. No. I'm sorry, you didn't tell me you got burned. It, it, because it was so quick and I caught it, um, it only like made the top layer of skin white. And instead of rushing to put water on it, I yeah, you can see it. I put um, witch hazel on it, ah. and it was fine. So it doesn't hurt. There's just a mark. Let me reminding me that I did that. Well, Paul says he missed you too. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. He didn't miss me. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. We're getting a lot of kind uh, comments about the manatee. Well, I appreciate that. Let's see here. Get this on the screen. Tasty critters. I'll, I'll relay that. They're tasty critters. Val will read the, the comments afterwards as well. Um, oh, I gotta remember to turn off the cat. Yeah. Briefly. Tasty critters is a photographer may have some photos that oh that would be awesome that you could use so <clears throat> I would love to see these are my first real set of flowers though I did do the sunflower I've never burned a whole lot of flowers so I'm curious to see how this is gonna come out the manatee is it algae because Chats. I think partly. Chats saying algae. It is actually physically attached, so I think it's moss and algae and, and who else? <laughs> who knows what else? Um, Maybe that was the word I was looking for. I, I, I'm sure I've eaten algae. Paul apparently has. <laughs> I've eaten seaweed. I've eaten lots of seaweed. We used to live in southeast Alaska and we lived on the beach. And, um,. That was part of our diet, the seaweed. I can tell you the kinds of seaweed that are tasty and the kinds that are not tasty. <laughs> so, and then pop weed, while edible, is not that tasty. Kelp's okay. It's like pickles, but it, it looks like it would be a pickle, but then when you bite into it, it's not. Well, that's just a tease. But then seagrass, seagrass is delicious. I really recommend seagrass. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, get some of that off. I did use the walnut hollow graphite paper to transfer, so it is coming off a lot easier than the Mona Lisa. Let's see, I'll make sure I'm on. There, you know what? Grace is. Apparently, Paul didn't capitalize, or no, he capitalized Grace's name. Grace says you better capitalize it. There's no grace in grace. <laughs> that needs to go in a shirt there, Grace. What was the shirt I was talking about last week about layers? I completely could not remember. Was it all about the layer? What, all about the layer? Was that what it was? I don't know. It I, sounds like something. But do you remember what I'm talking about? No. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Well, maybe chat can tell us. Uh, that or I'll have to go back and watch the live. Because remember, it was towards the end and I said it was all about the layers or something to that effect. And I was like, it's kind of becoming my catchphrase and maybe you should put on a t shirt. I can't remember what it was. That might be it. Or slow down. <laughs> No, I specifically said the word layers. I just can't remember. Maybe you should hold like a, a monthly competition for a slogan to go on a t-shirt. Like Maybe. That. that would be kind of cool. Let's see here. Make sure I'm on. Put it up on the merch store. 
Gotta build it first. I know. Tasty Ooh. Cutter says, you are so patient with that shading spoon. I know. <laughs> well, I just touched down too much right there. I'm not going to freak out because I do know this is going to be darker. So, it is what it is. Yeah. Not going to freak. And I did bump my heat up a little bit. Autumn Rose is here. Hi, Autumn. Oh, good day from Las Vegas. That's Autumn oh. Rose. Not too far away. Um, Bogo wants to know what eraser. Isn't that the, the Vanish Foreign one? I've got three erasers I'm using. And they're all down in the description. The gray one. The gray one is the mono sanded eraser for ink. Ah. I got them all listed and linked down in the description. And they are Amazon links and a little bit of a commission, like pennies. <laughs> um, do come to me. It doesn't cost you any more, but it helps out the channel. When I was a scout, we flew into, we flew into Las Vegas, New Mexico. <laughs> and um, we drew in chalk on the bottom of our helicopters. Viva Las Vegas. So when we were flying in formation, it said Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> <coughs> Even though you weren't in the Viva one. I know. Alright, so I'm going to take that I away. I don't think anybody noticed. Maybe the refill truck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Paul says, yep, the manatees do get algae growing on, on them. This is the Mono Zero, and the main reason I use this one is just to get into small areas so that I'm not getting rid of all my lines. And graphite does seem to be harder to take off of basswood. I'm noticing that more and more, especially after not having used it for a long while. So. But I can sand it off, so I'm not going to worry about it. Get this in here. And I think I'm going to go in for the dowel even darker so that I don't have to mess with it too much. Grace yelled at you. What? <laughs> she does. We don't have control over our intern like that. So oh. It's her job to check in on us. That's true. Yeah. That's what you pay her for. I don't need to get the mugs and t-shirts finished. No. Jason wore his t-shirt on Sunday for our painting day. He got some funny looks, but nobody, nobody said anything. See, I didn't see the looks. It would have been funny. Uh, pen holder art. That's Damn. Bernadette. That's uh, Val <laughs> Valerie's intern. She helps out. I'm not quite sure what she does. She makes Grace cringe. Yeah. That's why Grace. I feel like she's there for Eve. For Eve? Yes. Because I'm moving quicker. It's burning lighter. But right now, I just want enough burn so I can erase. I do hope I can get to a flower. Um, Tasty Critters has a question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, your price range for, I guess, pricing is, is the best way to phrase that. Um, my burnings start at... Twenty-seven dollars a linear square inch, and can go up from there based on how many subjects, color added, and things like that. So I have to try to do math in my head quick. Let's see here: fourteen, twenty-seven, eighteen. So this one 
looks like comes out to a base price of 378 that doesn't sound right um oh that's because i did five by nine not five by seven <laughs> that explains it so oh boy a lot of, a lot of comments um, tasty critters do you color with um colored pencils markers either or both um i've done both the last week was with colored pencil I use color pencil, pastels, and marker on the sunflower, and I am leaning towards watercolors for this one. So, um, Penholder Art says, I think you need a sock puppet of Rogers. Oh, at Eve. Oh, that's for Eve. Yeah. That's Rogers. Rogers is her mouse. Her mouse. Yeah, he's doing a, oh, a Wiki easy. Kitty series, and Twinkles is the kitty, and her mouse helper is Rogers. And Eve says she'd have to find baby socks. <laughs> you know, you could get one of those uh, cat toys that's a mouse, stuffed mouse. That's true. And use that. Oh my, regarding Bernadette. Oh, what? Okay, Grace, your secret's safe. Oh. I won't. You can't tell? I, no. I have a feeling I know, but I guess it would just help if I looked up. I don't think you Maybe. can see it. Oh. Because <laughs> I can kind of see chat. That's why I'm here. That's why you're That's here. That's my job. That's your job. Ah, oh, too hot. Too hot. Luckily. And to, and to retrieve things that Val thrown. I don't throw things. They fall. They fall laterally across the room. <laughs> no. I put something on my counter and I'm trying to hurry. Because I do appreciate everybody's time. And I know this takes so long. That I just put things down quickly. And they go across the room. So this part is under a um, flower head. So I'm gonna be, I'm okay with it being darker right here. There's gonna be a shadow anyway. I'm just using the very tip and that's why it came out darker instead of using the base the base of it. So let's see if I can fix that. So for this, I, I did look at the prices real uh, basic prices on a couple real quick for these uh, Blick Studios. This one was $3.99 for a 5x7 and the 9x12 that I have listed down in the description is $7.13. And I do think that this, so far, this did not come split. There is no warping. And overall, Though you guys are seeing some of my oopses, I think the the wood's burning really well, and gives us another source of substrate. I do have this, though I don't have it linked in the description. I do have the uh, the board listed in the description. What I forgot to link was my kit page that lists the stuff that I like because on that page I also have these boards. I have a whole wood section of what I like to burn on. So if you're looking for other wood to burn on, this basswood's doing well. I would make sure though if you order, as soon as you get the order, check because they come wrapped in plastic. And this little label is in one of the corners, and so it can cover up, and you don't see what the wood looks like there. And I don't know how well this will show up. But there is a bit of an indent. I mean, it's going to happen. It happens with all kinds of wood. It's right there. 
Um, I'm fine with this one, but if there's a lot more, I would call Blick and have them resend some more wood. And in the past, when I had to do that, they were really good about it. So that's why I was okay with giving it another try. Um, Jacqueline has another question. Mm -hmm. Do you always do the burning before applying any type of color? Yes, 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 yes. You never, I'm saying it more and more, including on my Facebook group, I saw one. You don't want to add any color until you are sure you're done with the burn. Because burning over color can and is toxic. And you can get sick from it. And you can ruin your uh, burning pen. So she has an interesting question. Mm -hmm. What is the UK equivalent of basswood? Oh, oh, I saw somebody use that term. We Do we not have Andrew today? We do not. Oh, I wonder if he forgot about the time change. <coughs> Though he didn't change times. Europe doesn't change until the 25th, from what I understand. Um, Andrew... There is, I've seen another term for it, but I can't for the life of me remember what it is. I'm so sorry, sorry, Sheila. I will try um, to look it up sometime today and post it in the Facebook group. That way you can go looking for it. Um, actually, Paul's going to check real quick. Thank you, Paul. Actually, if I remember right, Jackson's, I shared a link for Jackson's. I think it was for Sheila. Was it for you, Sheila? And I believe there was basswood at Jackson's. Oh, that burned way too dark. Damn it. It's all right. Right? It'll be okay. Yeah, okay. But sometimes it can be a little frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, there, I saw somebody in another group use another term, and I can't, can't remember it. So, because I've got these touchdown burns right here, I'm going to add a few more. Okay. Because they're too dark to blend in. But, these stems are dark, and... The texture actually is pretty smooth. In the photo, I'm looking. I don't think it'll hurt anything. I guess you didn't, that wasn't Sheila that you looked at before. Oh, there's somebody else then. Autumn Rose says thank you for the lesson. Absolutely. I have fun doing this and hanging out with you guys. And I had thought about adding... Uh, a light, an extra live or two a month, just so I can get more done. But don't know yet. All right. So I went too dark right there on my initial, and it'll be it'll be fine. I do want this to be smoother because this going up into the orchid is the softer stem. This, these branches are more woody. So, you know, I'm going to turn down my heat. Yes, a little bit. And the three. I can always darken it. Lightning is a pain in the butt. So. Yeah, I looked on Jackson's website, Jackson's Art Supply, and they are in the UK. I've never ordered from them, but I've heard good things about them and they have birch similar to the birch that I burn on it's not exactly the same but it's similar and I'm almost positive they had basswood and I wish I could remember whose post that was that I left it on 
let's see here so this one is that flower and we got a stem there and actually this looks off for some reason this goes back that's a stem right here okay so paul says you can buy it as lime wood lime wood okay Lime. As well as bass in several places, specialist lumber yards and Jackson's do sell it. Oh, okay. Still looking for a cheaper version. Lime wood, huh? Lime wood. Wonder why they call it over there. Lime wood. I don't know. Or if they name the tree first, why do we call it bass wood? Thank you, Paul. That helps a lot. Things. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as adding more lives, Jacqueline is ah, suggesting. Damn. You okay. I'm sorry. I messed up. This was the stem. This was a clear area with nothing behind it. So what I'm gonna do. Move the stem. It's the easiest way for me to fix this. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, now Jacqueline is suggesting add one on the late afternoon or evening. I was kind of thinking like Sunday evening, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I have to look at your schedule too. I like doing the lives with you. All right. So this was supposed to be a white space. And I didn't connect my line well enough there, so it looked like a stem. So, and now extending, moving the stem up. Yeah, I'm noticing that I'm having a harder time erasing graphite from the basswood. Maybe I always had a problem, but I just didn't realize that that was the problem. That it was the wood, not mm. something else. All right, so we moved the stem. That's okay. I think that'll work okay. You guys won't tell anybody, right? No. <laughs> Don't here. tell nobody. Hi, Philip. I think he got thrown off with the time change, maybe. And we won't have him next live. Hmm? Oh, he is going back to his wood carving classes. Oh, okay. And so he's got a week of, or a couple of days of wood carving. And then he's going to be adding wood carving and burning together. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, I guess there is somebody in Missouri. Who teaches classes that's really good and this will be his third set of classes with the person oh that's cool yeah i at some point in time i want to get start doing relief carving again not that i did it a whole lot but i do want to do that again add that back in Alright, you know, I'm going to leave that because the graphite's there. So, I'm not going to work on the side here because we did it over here. And again, we can tell how yucky the first burn is, first layer. But, it is fixable. Let's see here, let's pick a quick flower. So, I know the, the flowers, the petals are going to be have a little bit of color the stem i am not yeah the stem i'm not but the petals and i don't know what color yet i may change it from what we have you know what we can work on this one right here I'm gonna lower my heat even more and if you notice, I still haven't changed my pen yet. Each one of your pens should have multiple lines and textures that you can create with it. 
<clears throat> excuse me, which is why you don't need a whole lot. All right, so I bumped it down to two and a half. And so this is gonna be really light. This is that pedal. Thanks, Grace. And looking at the black and white, um, I've got my black and white over here. It is much lighter than the other ones. Because I also, some of these flowers, it's the back of them. And that's one of the reasons I like this photo. Because it wasn't all of the flowers facing the viewer. So that's one of the reasons I chose this one. And I thought it was a nice to stop. No, it didn't. Well, I can see a, um, the next comment, but it's not up there for whatever reason. What's not? What you just did? No. What happened? I'm confused. There's a comment after Grace's last comment, but it's not popping up. But it's popping up on, on the live. It just may be hell. this oh <laughs> okay. that's all it's how far i had it over sorry okay. it's free. What, do you need the other do you need chat or do you need the as long i've got both screens on so i can make okay. sure that i'm on screen that's my biggest gotcha. um thing is i don't have a dark place to touch down so i keep if i don't touch the tip down immediately I am testing it again just to pull some of the heat off because I don't want this to be a dark burn I want this to be really light and then the petal let's see here <sighs> down here and go a little darker and I'm gonna bring it around not every part of it is burned, but I like this lighter petal because I can use the flower behind it, which is darker, to pop it out. So I don't do a, I don't have to feel like I have to outline the piece, the petal, because I'll use negative burning of the other petal to make this one pop out more. Interesting. So Odo says, according to Wiki, basswood. Derived from Bast, the name for inner bark. Okay. Inner bark. Alright, so we got this down. I'm try oh, those are holes. Okay. If you look in the middle of the petal, I've got like three marks. I wasn't sure. I was curious about that. It, looking at the photo, it is holes in the petal, and it's the darker petal behind it coming through oh interesting and i'm trying to make sure that i get the direction of my shadow right so that the petal folds like it should and the higher spots are going to be lighter the one that has more light and some of the edge down here has ridges going down, so we kind of want to get those if we can. Oh, it's poking into my hand. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and put this dark in so I can get rid of the pencil. So put that one in, put that one in. Paul says that linden is also a basswood type tree found in the UK. I think that's the term I heard. Linden? I think that's what I read. And. I guess that because um, Odo was expounding um, on that, the um, they use that fiber that um, they soak it for a month, and uh, then it's more easily separated. That fiber, huh. that fiber is used for making like textiles and things like that. Huh. I, did not That's know any of that. I knew about yeah. it, but I didn't realize that that was that was the tree. Huh. Well, thank you. I'm gonna look more up. All right. So this is the underneath of the petal. It's gonna be darker because it's turned up. 
then it kind of curves back like that. This part is darker, but since I know this part is going to be a darker area, we're going to add a little bit more dark along the branch to ensure that it pops out still, even though it's darker. Don't want to lose it. I am going to have to keep burning over the basswood, to, over this, over the stem to smooth it out. These are all just first layers. So we're still in the ugly stage. Now what I want to know is the <coughs> other stuff I need to get done. Do you guys want this piece finished and next week I color it or work on this some more off camera and then but have like a couple of flowers left or something and burn next week? Hmm. You choose. Choose your adventure. I miss those books. <laughs> Let's see here, make sure I'm on. Do I need to zoom in? I don't think so. That's just my opinion. It may not be right. <laughs> Try not to run the pencil down. I mean, I can see what you're doing, so. But I can, I'm seeing what chat's saying, so. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of who I was asking. Hey. <laughs> Oops, I said that out loud, didn't I? I didn't burn you. My pen has been on camera along with my hands the whole you know time. I mean. You know what I mean. I did not burn you. Let's see here. Let's get this. Right now I am using a little bit of pressure trying to push the grain down so it burns a little easier and when you're doing branches sticks anything like that depending on where the lights hitting it's going to be darker in the center and lighter on the edges that's what's going to give you your curve of course that depends on your on the perspective of what you're doing but you do want to kind of pay attention to that So that's why I'm trying to stay where it's more exposed. I'm trying to stay lighter along both edges to get that roundness. Let's see here. Oops. Oh, Grace, like that. You got a flame. I got a flame. What did I get a flame for? What did I do? For your burn. For my burn. Oh, of you. Gotcha. Lindsay's here. Hi, Lindsay. We got Lindsay. I feel, now I'm all, what do I say? We got Super Lindsay in. I lost it. I am so glad you stopped by. No. All right, so. I will say that Lindsay's watercolor and if you're watching this on re replay and aren't sure who Lindsay is, I am talking to Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. Definitely check out her channel. As there's all kinds of stuff over there. Card making, watercolors, oils. Well, pretty much you name it, Lindsay does it. Lindsay says she's cleaning her studio and she saw you were on. Awesome. So glad to have you. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. All right. And she probably just, if she saw <laughs> what you just did, she's probably like, what? What was that? <laughs> oh, Bernadette was just checking in. Oh, is that what she was well, doing? Well, yeah, it's noon. So. Okay, so I had to move the, I had to move that stem. So I want to keep it because it does go underneath this petal. Because this petal is wrapping around it. So I want to keep it. I think I'm going to go right about there. Um, well, Philip says color next week. Color next week, okay. Um, and then 
Oh boy. I'm a little bit behind in mine. Uh, Paul says leave some flowers. The flowers leave are really flowers. interesting. Alright, so we got one and one. And Philip, you want me to color while you're gone? Grace is um, voting for color next week. Color next week. So that's like. Two colors. And Paul says, oh no, the Bernadette thing was there again. <laughs> He's just saying hi. Hey. Thing is, is Lindsay has no idea what you're doing. Huh? I don't think Lindsay has any idea. I am doing. not doing anything. Oh. That's Bernadette. If you notice, both my hands are on the screen. Right. <laughs> and you can't see my hands. <laughs> yes, I can from my peripherals. But my hands are engaged in doing chat reading stuff. You need your hands to recap. Grace says, just wipe the memory away, Paul. <laughs> Let's see here. I did go a little dark on this underneath, but I kind of need it in order for this light area to really pop because we have a white line where the light is hitting the petal and then it gets darker because it's rolling down. And so we need to pay attention to all of that. I am set at two and a half. Let's see, here's the color. I really am curious about the watercolors with the ground on this. And the thing is, is I'm going to have to test on a piece of scratch uh, wood to ensure that the um, ground does not kind of cloudy up the burning if i if i see any kind of cloudiness from the ground on the wood then i'm gonna have to skip it that's kind of what i'm thinking so i will do a test on an old um, piece of wood that i was using for testing my tips since it's already got a burn on it I really don't need to burn another piece of wood. So I'll test it that way. But I will test it on that. That's what I'll test it on. I'll put some watercolor ground on it and see how it plays. Hopefully we get no cloudiness and then I can use watercolor next week. But if there's cloudiness, we're going to have to look at... Well, it's cloudy right now cloudiness on the burn oh. on the burn and liquid color is here hey denise wow i am feeling special all my friends are showing up today awesome what i'll do is i will uh, test the wood and I'll post it over in the Facebook group to see to show you what the uh, watercolor clear watercolor ground looks like over the burning, mm. and we'll go from there. All right. So I left my white area for that petal. I can actually burn this darker. I did bump up the contrast on this photo. Because I wanted some deeper darks. Having that contrast really does help. So I bumped it up. And because I know, because I hand sanded, I'm seeing streaks in the burn, even though this is my first layer. And that's from the hand sanding. Normally I do use my orbital sander and I didn't this time and I can see the difference it's not the only way it's burning differently is how the tip is running along the grain and that's why I'm getting the streakiness and it is basswood so sometimes that can cause an issue All right, this one is a bud in the back Let's put the bud in. 
And where we at? Oh, yeah, we got time. We got the time. So this area is dark here and dark on the other side because this bud is opening up. This one is still closed. So we want to make sure we put things in the right place. And if you notice, because I am trying to go for realism, I'm not outlining anything. None of this is outlined. I'm trying to keep the pencil from being burned in. I'm Once I got more of this in, I will take, I will erase harder to get rid of any graphite that might be showing. But it's kind of hard when you first start laying your burn down to get rid of a lot of the graphite. Yeah, I definitely, that was a really good question that Jacqueline asked earlier. And I want to re-emphasize on getting all of your burn done before you add any kind of color. It's just going to have to wait. Now, granted, everybody's adults and whatnot. I just don't like seeing people get sick. And it is fun to color your burns or get to that spot where you're like, ugh, I've done all this hours of work and it's done. Or I'm ready to move to the next part. I messed that up there. Alright. The stem is actually darker than that bud. So I'm going to reshape it with negative burn and put it back. There we go. All back. And the stem bends down. There's a gap. Do we have any more questions? Uh, not yet. All right. Let's see here. I think this can go darker because around this bud is lighter. So I'm going to go a little darker. So Denise, that's in liquid color, right? Mm -hmm. Says she's seen so many orchids lately. It's fun, <laughs> fun to see you work on them too. Yeah, I normally don't, but I've been thinking about it. And then Lindsay did her live watercolor last week. Was it watercolor? No, pastels. Her live pastels last week mm. of orchids. And I was like, you know what? I just need to get them done. I've been wanting to do them. I don't tend to do flowers but I thought it would be fun to try thing is, is I always seem to be trying new things on live I don't know why I do that I don't know why oh. <laughs> glad you don't ride dirt bikes <laughs> no that is not a live anybody would want to see what are you going to do today? You're going to try this double flip. <laughs> really? You've never done that before. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. <Bye>, Betty. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, Denise is obsessed with all things wood. Um... Yeah, she had a video. She gets teased for it by her boyfriend, but she's glad to see you working on a panel again. So you have been working on paper lately. Yes, I have. And that kind of has to do with convenience, too. I don't have to sand anything. And I can transfer with uh, a light box. Ah. And it just kind of makes things easier. But, um, like was asked earlier, it can have its downsides on how quickly you burn and how smooth the burn. I mean, you can get a smooth burn. <clears throat> it just takes longer 
and more heat around the camera, yes. So this pedal goes down, so I want to get that in there. And it does have <sighs> some lines. And normally, if Lindsay was painting this in watercolor, she'd have her credit card scraper out. This is a little different. Let's see here, I'm gonna have to darken this up. I kind of feel like I need to put the dowel in so I know how much darker everything else is going to be. Oh, that's funny until you pointed that out. I just thought it was a really straight stem. No, that's the dowel that uh, they use to attach the branches to so it doesn't fall over. Oh. I mean, I don't have to burn it in, but I kind of feel like it gives me a little bit of stability even in the burning. So, let's see here. What to do, what to do. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Liar is here. Hi, Lee. Wait. Lee Did... was in before, huh? <laughs> yeah, you kind of threw that's me off That's why you paused. You know, like, what, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> do your job. <laughs> All right. This... Eventually, I'm just going to get replaced by Bernadette, huh? No. Like, no. Replaced by a sock puppet. What does that say about my proficiency? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hot. I'm going to put that down. This is <laughs> my glass tray. No, you're not going anywhere. This is my glass tray deck that's from the picture frame. Got the video on that. And I'm going to use that to at least get those lines in. I'm actually going to test to make sure this is going to work with this tip. Peel. Where's up? Oh, maybe this is the right one. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. One of them, I have two of them. One of them is not sanded on the edge. That's why. I... Yep. All right. <sighs> Let's see here. What angle? So that everybody can still see. That should work. And I should still be able to hold. Hmm. I should have put my chair up higher. Make sure I can see my lines. Yeah, you know let's start down here at the branch just in case. Easier to fix than a pedal. Alright. Make sure it's lined up. And I'm going to be using more of yeah, turn it down of the of the side instead of the flat. Maybe. Let's see here. Here we go. Now remember the tip cools off the longer it's in contact with the wood. So I don't want it to look outlined. So I will keep the glass in place and kind of blend this out. I am going to have to bump up the heat to get a darker burn. Get that in there and then the stem won't look so dark anymore. Can you see that okay on camera? Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not in the way. Lift my tip and slow down to get that darker burn. And got a straight line. Alright, let's see here. I'll have to stay on the bottom line because if I flip, I'll have to move the camera again. So I will stay here. You need a lot more room if you flip. I know. I'll get dizzy too. So, using glass as a straight edge. Mm hmm. It's a good idea. Thank you. It doesn't heat up, so I don't have to worry about 
holding it. And I sanded the edge so that the tip runs along it smoother. I don't have to worry about anything melting and I can see through the glass to make sure I have things lined up the way I want to. It just makes things a little easier. Though I do suggest that you um, sand the edges with uh, a higher grade sandpaper just to smooth it out. Let's see. I got a little off right there, but that'll be fine. And I don't want it to look outlined. Marie has a question. Mm -hmm. Would gel pens work on wood? They do. I have not done it. They should. Um, I tend to use... What kind of gel pens are you looking at? Is it just the white for highlights or tag color? I don't see a reason why they wouldn't work. But depending on the effect you're going for, you might want to put a couple of sprays of polyacrylic on it first. If you want a brighter color. Because anytime you put any kind of wet ink, watercolor, anything like that, directly onto wood is going to soak in a little bit and when it soaks in it gets lighter so let's get this one in still trying to make sure it doesn't look outlined that's my biggest thing that I try I mean sometimes outlines work but overall for what I try to achieve, I want to stay away from the outlines. There, that just popped out the branch more. Hmm. That's interesting that you're using that as device. You know, it's an, you normally don't burn that dark, and so I never smell the burn. Oh, are you smelling I'm it? Smelling it now. Let's see here. That line should be right. You know what? I'll come back. So let's get this one in. So if I don't use the straight line or the straight edge, let's see how close I can get it. I can always go back and burn over an area to straighten it up. So let's just see how well I can do. Okay. And see, this could go even hotter. I will say since I've been burning for a while and I'm on four, um, the pen is not hot. I don't have an issue with that. And I'm not getting any kind of carbon buildup. Let's see here. That's good. Yeah. So my tip is still clean. And that's the Optima you're using? Yes. I tried using, I was working on another piece the other night. And I pulled out a coal wood pen, and I can really feel the difference now. And my hand went numb and got hot. I mean, this pen does warm up, but not like not like the other ones do. Now, if I was hitting seven and higher, that would be a different story because they all do it. But since I tend to stay under six, it's just a lot more comfortable. Mm -hmm. well, Denise likes the contrast. Well, thank you. This is going to get darker, but I really needed to see how dark the dowel was. Oh, I just smelt it there. Yeah. Yeah. And again, that's why you, you don't normally think about it. No. But 
if you had anything over that, over the burning, it would really burn it. Yeah, if I, yeah, if I had color down and, if, and I was trying to burn next to it and maybe a little bit of color came across because it's smeared on your hand or wh whatever the reason. This heat releases all those toxins, even if it's listed as non-toxic. They're talking about paint, and they're talking about Chef Charvin. Charvin? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because we went to Paris last week and got some Charvin paint. And uh, so did they feel more like glue to, to me, more fillers. Than Cotman, but I read Catman. Oh. And I was trying to figure out who Catman is. Who Catman is? Like, who's <laughs> who Catman? <laughs> you know who Catwoman is? Who's Catman? All right. So actually, he is Catwoman. <laughs> I don't know. Grace might fight her for it. Yeah. And if Heather's in, it'd be a three-way. Royal. Argument on who was Cat Lady. Royal Rumble. Yep. Alright, so I'm trying to get this more even. I can go back over it, so I'm not going to stress over it. I do think I am going to burn over the two stems, and that will help balance it out a little bit down there. Uh, I... I asked you Marie's question about gel pens, right? Yes. Oh, okay. He's good. Marie asked again. Oh, she may have stepped away from her computer. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, you can use gel pens on wood. If the wood's sealed, the color will be brighter. And if you're putting it directly on the wood, there's a chance of it being lighter. Apparently, Grace says that. She can have the cat, the cat woman title. The cat woman title. Yeah, but um, pen holder says Damn. that cat man sounds like Eve's boyfriend. <laughs> We're just renaming everybody, aren't we? So from now on, are you hubcap or cat man? What? Me? Well, I'm Hubcap. Where did that come from? <laughs> well, you're the one who you read it. Cats. Outside. Yeah. Let's see here. This area isn't burning as smoothly. And again, it's because I hand sanded. I'm not going to blame the wood for this one. This one's my doing. It's okay. I'll just keep keep layering on it so I'm trying to think of my schedule as to I don't want to promise to get this done and ready for color if if I can't do it by next week I'm trying to think Grace says that I'm the dog man or she <laughs> say seal man I'm not seal man moon I have a seal. moon but your moon's dad. Like you're her mother. Mm -hmm. You're older. You had it first. <laughs> she says I did. <laughs> can't believe you brought age into that. Well, you what are. What the hell? <laughs> oh, 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 you cussed. You give me a hard time. You cussed. That wasn't me. I've been good. Today. Today. All right. So, <sighs> I feel like I never get anywhere. Sure you do. Well, I know that. I'm just telling you how I feel. Otherwise, we wouldn't have an exhibition <laughs> right now, would we? That's true. Let's see. Let's get this in here. Make sure I line up the lines. Or it won't look right. And remember, I can go back and straighten anything that may need to straighten out. So, oh, I guess it helps if I was on screen when I did it. 
I forgot I moved the camera up. Oh, I thought you were on screen. Were you off? Well, I just put this little spot in between oh. the two branches, so it went off. Oh, yeah. see, so I was back there. Oh. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll put this bottom part in. You know what, though? I can. Since I know I'm going over the branch, I'm going to take this out so I don't burn it into the wood. It does help if you go with the grain to erase. Let's see here. There we go. All right. So let's get this in, and then you'll really be able to see how the darkness helps. Um, granted, again, the stem's going to go darker, but even with it going darker, this dark dowel. Grace is asking if I give a flame for every burn bow gives Jason, do you think she'll do more? <laughs> oh. I can't believe I read that aloud. Oh. It's encouraging her, Grace. That's why she's doing it. Well, I know that. Wait, Fine. is that like a indirect burn? I do burn. I think she can give you half a flame. Let's see here, get that in there. Oh, Philip has to leave. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, Philip. There we go. Alright. So, this will definitely be darker. Especially since I don't want this to be the only dark in the piece. I'm going to have to balance out some of these stems. They won't be as dark as this, but they're going to be pretty dark. And I think that'll help yeah 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 what i just said yeah that's it i think you're expiring <laughs> i'm going down quickly so yeah this will be darker in here let's see that this will have some darkness of course this is all first layer burn it, nothing will be as dark as this and I do have to still smooth it out. I can see kind of like where I did the line, and I don't want that. But it really helps the stem pop out more, especially the stem will be darker. Let's see how much graphite I can get off without fighting it on the screen. You guys can see. Yeah, I do think I never paid attention to basswood and the graphite coming off as much as I do now. That's why I notice it more. What I can't get off, I'm going to have to try to blend into the burning. Did it stop? Yeah, it stopped. <laughs> I guess he's done. <laughs> I guess so. She said something about you not paying her enough. Alright, this is just the emery file, emery board file that those things are cut down. I don't think I added them to the last time I brought them out to the description. I don't remember to do that. But this does help get into smaller places to either correct or get rid of the graphite. Let's see, maybe I should zoom in, maybe you can see a little better. Hopefully it'll focus. Focus. I guess I don't have to zoom in that close. <laughs> we'll do that. Now, focus on my hand. There we go. Sorry about that. We're starting to buffer a little bit. Are we? Uh, okay, well, I just wanted to show that I'm using the emery board to get the graphite line off, and it feels like the pinker side is smoother than this side. 
because I don't want to wrap up this wood too much because I just sanded it and where it's rougher in the burn and the sanding is going to burn differently so I don't want that and I am still trying to go with the grain I do think the pencil came off better that way and then I'm using the sanding eraser to kind of feather out where I sanded. Though I do see, let's see here. And then I use the bigger eraser to pull the debris out of the grain. There we go. So this is a little cleaner. And then once I darken the burn, you won't even know that the pencil line was there. So, there we go. Okay. Yep, it's not working. Okay. Well, he's done for the day. And you hit me. I did not hit, hit you. Me. I didn't hit you. You heard it. I did not. All that fancy mic equipment. You can't deny it. <laughs> I did not. You closed down stuff that I needed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get it back. I need to pull out my zoom i need to have ah, they make me go through all these there we go so hopefully you can see that a little bit better um jay wells asks have you ever tried non-photo blue instead of graphite no the non-photo blue has wax in it so anything that has wax in it cannot be used. I have looked into it, but the non-photo blue um, pencils do have wax, and you can't burn over the wax. So today, we just wrap it up. We started the orchid, including burning on the edge. This is just the first layer, and I will smooth it out. There's also some petals that go here. Remember, look at what I'm doing, not the camera, so I can get it in the right spot. And then I also have some petals here. All right. And then I'm slowly settling on, once this is done being burned, on using watercolor ground and watercolors. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, since we're having buffering issues. Don't know why. I'll just block and do that. <laughs> Thank you guys all for stopping by. I hope this video has helped take one more step in your burning adventure. And if you're just here hanging out, that is awesome too. If you're new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down here below and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video and go live Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Arizona time. And don't forget to hit a comment or hit the like button and leave a comment. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Happy burning. Bye. Bye.